Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass, and with all of the links coming out for the brand new Google Pixel 4, it was inevitable, like with the Pixel 2 and the Pixel 3, that the live wallpaper APK was also going to leak, and that's what we're going to be taking a look at today. As always, links are in the description down below, so let's take a look. Okay guys, so the first thing you want to do is click the link down in the description below, which is going to take you over to this Droid Life article, which has all the information with regards to the wallpapers and some other applications that have leaked. So it's going to show you some of the live wallpapers down the bottom here, as well as some custom bits that you can't get access to unfortunately on my OnePlus device, but it does work on Pixel devices. You've then got the Google Recorder, which is very simple, which we'll take a look at in a moment as well. And then you've also got the brand new Pixel 4 launcher and the Pixel 4 themes, which again, unfortunately, are only going to work on Pixel devices and require a little bit more tinkering. But then you've got the three links down the bottom. Now you also need to head over to the Play Store and download the Google Wallpapers application and that's just available on your standard play store no apk needed whatsoever now the cool thing about it is it's got some awesome wallpapers in general so again if you want some landscapes or some night scenes you've got some options here as well so again kind of cool you've then got some other applications down the bottom that you may have installed and then you've got the live wallpaper section which has all of the new live wallpapers as well as my oneplus live wallpaper now some of these have different scenes depending on light mode and dark mode but for example the doodle one here on my my OnePlus 6T only shows the dark mode variant so again it is a little bit finicky again because it's an unreleased APK and you probably shouldn't be installing on any device but a pixel device but it works so that's definitely something to keep in mind some of the wallpapers not exactly functioning exactly as they should do some do look extremely nice like this one here of Switzerland you've got a flag that moves around on the house it does also have a parallax effect and you can also see some birds flying off in the top left hand corner as well so again you've got quite a lot to look at. In regards to the variety of wallpapers, it's not necessarily as big as what we had on the Pixel 2 or the Pixel 3. Some of them are a little bit bland, they do have a lot of black space, that's mainly probably because of the Android 10 dark mode, but again some of them look nice. This one here has some clouds and things that move. It is very subtle, but again it can look quite nice. And then to go ahead and actually set a wallpaper is also very simple then to do. So I'm just going to go back to the one from Switzerland. I like the colours, I like the design and I also like the way that it moves which I'll show off in just a second as well. You click set wallpaper, you can choose home screen or both home screen and lock screen and then you're ready to go. And as you can see it has some really nice movement to it as well. So what I'm going to do is turn on my screen recorder on my OnePlus 6T now and just show off some of the actual ways that the wallpapers can move just here. So let me just move my phone and then as you can see here we've got some of the live wallpapers just on screen now again some of them have mainly parallax effects and they move around a little bit which can look kind of cool it is a very subtle movement but again if that's something that you're looking for with a live wallpaper then this is one of the better options out there We've then also got the next application which works on my OnePlus device, which is the Google Recorder app. Now this is very simple. You press on the record button, it's then going to start recording your voice. So again, you can see the waveform just there. So again, if I whisper, you can see then that it's going to actually make it a little bit quieter. You can then pause it, save it, and then move on to the next one. A very, very simple application. The only setting in the top right hand corner once you go into the settings is the theme option. And again, to go along with Android 10, we've got the light dark and the system default so again switching over to the dark mode you can see there that it has a nice red and black design a nice pattern to it so again something very simple but if we need to take some voice memos this is a really good option and that's going to do it guys for this video now this has been a very quick look at the brand new google pixel 4 live wallpapers and again i'm going to have a ton more coverage coming up on the brand new pixel 4 and i'm hopefully going to be able to get my hands on one to give you guys a full review so leave a thumbs up down below if that's something that you're looking forward to as always everything is going to be linked in that description down below in regards to the links to download all of the applications and also the droid life page so you can go ahead and download anything that you need to if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and if you've got any questions or comments let me know in the comment section below or on twitter at copper versus glass if you're not already subscribed now is a great time to do so and you can also turn on notifications so you're notified anytime that i post a new video here on the channel I'm Michael from Copper vs Glass, thanks for watching and as always I will catch you guys in the next video.